Welcome back to the second episode of our channel, Woods and Water. I'm Jacob, and in last video we got a good start to the fishing side of things. But in this video, we're going to be catching up on the hunting and me ending the story of a giant buck I like to call Horny. But before we get to watch a set of antlers hit the ground, let's go back to where it all began. It all started back on December 26th, 2011. It's the date that I killed my first deer, and that day has impacted me my whole life, and um, it'll impact me for the rest of my life. It's made me who I am, and since then it seems like I'm never out of the woods, and whenever I'm out of the woods, I'm always fishing and doing all kinds of other outdoorsman stuff. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below, and check out our last video if you haven't already. Last year, Horny was a really tall 11-pointer, and um, I had one encounter with him, and he came in, and his body was behind a tree, and me being the person that I am, I got anxious, just like anybody would, and um, I didn't want this deer to get away, so I took the shot on him, and... That crossbow put the arrow dead center in that vertebrae in its neck. And um, I got the smallest bit of blood back and half my arrow. Um, the rest of that season, I didn't get another picture of him. We searched and searched for that deer, never did find him. But um, I had no expectations of ever getting another picture of this deer. But um, going into the 2019 season first trail cam pictures we check of the year he's there he's big as ever really wide and uh, he's got stuff going everywhere he got wounded last year and uh, he grew he grew stuff everywhere so um, going into this season I wanted him worse than ever just because the memories behind this deer and um, I'll go in on Friday, get, put out some corn and some crush and check the cameras and he's there 30 minutes before daylight with some does and a spike and um, I go in the next day at 2.30. So I get in the stand at about 3 o'clock and I see my first deer at 5.30 they all started to filter in right before dark and um, I knew if this buck came in it was going to be low shooting light but um, while all these deer are sitting around me I took the advantage to get some cool footage of these beautiful animals doing what they do best. I remember looking down at my phone whenever it started to get dark and looked down and it said 634 and I had a picture of the big buck the day before at 650 and I looked back up and there he came. As soon as I saw him of course I started shaking and reached over turned the camera on and as soon as he walked in the field of view I mean perfect. 15 yards right in front of me, I let him have it.
Yes! Yes! Oh, I killed him! I got him! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. I just shot the deer I was after. Oh my god! Oh. I just shot Horty and he just fell right in front of me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Still kicking myself for not getting any footage of me going up to this deer, but um, after I shot it, I went back up to the truck and met my dad, and he actually killed a buck that he was after too, and we met up, and we went down and got this deer, and I was, as you can tell, I was very happy.